How's it going, everybody? It's Coach Raul here at Dynamite Kickboxing. We are back for Film Study Friday, Volume 2. This week, we're talking about cadence striking. What is cadence striking, you may ask? Here at Dynamite Kickboxing, we describe cadence striking as anytime your strikes are moving from left to right, left to right, left to right, side to side striking, okay? And one of my favorite setups when it comes to cadence striking is using my left hook to set up my right low kick. Now, who better to help us out this week with our Film Study Friday than one of my close friends, Glory Welterweight Champion, Glory Commentator, Great low kicker, Bazooka Joe, Joseph Valtellini. We're going to take a look at one of his previous fights and see how he used his hook and his low kick to set up the finish against one of his opponents. Check it out. In this clip, we see Francois Ambang throw a right body kick at Joseph Valtellini, which he counters with his left hook and his low kick. When Joseph Valtellini throws that left hook, it causes Francois Ambang's weight to shift onto his left foot. Boom, so he can chop the low kick. The low kick will be the first of many landed throughout this fight. In this clip, Ambang shells up against the ropes, but he leaves his left leg forward. And because he left his left leg forward, Valtellini is able to throw his hook low kick and then evade the counter low kick that comes from Ambang afterwards. Here you see Valtellini throw a low kick, step back using a draw attack to follow with another hook and a low kick. It's genius because when Valtellini steps back after throwing that initial low kick, it causes Ambang to step forward, planting his weight on his foot, which allows him to follow with the hook low kick and leave him hopping afterwards. Here we are, the final sequence of the fight. All the low kicks have been added up over the past three rounds, and Valtellini goes in for the kill. He fires cross hook, low kick, hook, low kick, and is able to drop on bang. Round three, TKO via low kick. Again, Valtellini used a lot of different techniques. He used his hook, low kick, he used draw attacks, he used bumps, he used everything in his arsenal in order to set Ambang up and finish him off with a low kick. And once again, when his cross hook, low kick, hook, low kick, that finishing combo, he's shifting Ambang's weight from side to side, hitting with that top shin, and he had no chance. Game over, Valtellini wins. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joseph Valtellini earning the round three low kick TKO victory over Francois Ambang at Glory 9, New York. All right. In that fight, Joseph Valtellini used his left hook. He used his cadence striking. He used his draw attacks. He used a bunch of different tricks in order to earn that victory over Ambang, a great, great formidable opponent. Now, what I want you guys to keep in mind when it comes to low kicks is that you don't chop a tree down in a single swing, okay? In order to chop a tree down, you have to continue to chop and chop and chop and chop and chop. And then over time, you get the tree to fall over. Same concept with the low kick. You have to chop the low kick, chop the low kick, chop the low kick, and in time, your opponent will fall over as well. Case in point, Ambang unable to put any weight on his leg towards the end of the fight. Big shout out to Bazooka Joe. Again, good friend of mine. I got to come visit you soon, sir. We'll definitely make my way up there as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please do me a favor. Like the video, share the video, follow us on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube, and please stay tuned for our next video coming next Friday. Hope you enjoyed Film Study Friday. I'll see you guys soon. Boom!